Hey, I'm Coach Colin Castell, a professional shooting coach with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today I've got some basketball shooting drills for kids. All right, so shooting is becoming more and more important to the game of basketball. And so with kids and younger athletes, if we can develop those fundamentals and kind of that baseline layer, a lot of times it's going to help them have success as they move through, keep them interested, keep them engaged, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a few different drills that you can do to help them see success quickly, right? But before we jump into it, don't forget you can click the link in the description to get free instant access to my seven day shooting challenge. This is seven days worth of workouts. It's going to change the way that a lot of people think about training their jump shot, right? We've got thousands of people running through it right now and they're seeing some tremendous results. So click that link and check it out. Now, the very first drill that we're going to work on is loop arounds from the block. Now, I like form shooting, but I don't like doing a ton of just regular static two-handed form shooting. I like to do what we call dynamic form shooting, which is basically the same idea, except for we're doing it out of some sort of movement situation. So with loop arounds from the block, all you're going to do is you're going to start with the ball with your inside hand inside the block. And essentially, we're going to make a circle around the block with our dribble, and then we're going to load quickly into a jump shot. So we're going to bounce out. We're going to loop around and then we're going to load back here getting ready to shoot. Now the key is this loop around is basically just to kind of take their mind off of shooting for just a second so they have to refocus, re-engage. So the key is as we're coming through we want to have a quick transition into the shot. As your athletes are coming through you want a quick load, quick spring out of it, right? What we're not looking for is we don't want to have them come then set their feet wait, find the rim, and then shoot. We want to use that upper momentum and that quick spring because that's going to help transfer those uh, mechanics into actual game play, right? Now, we can do this on either side of the floor. You can come back to the other side, do the exact same thing, but now I'm switching hands, doing it the opposite direction, loading, springing as quick as we possibly can, right? Getting those feet moving, getting those hips dropped, firing off the balls of our feet, heels off the ground. If we can do that, it's going to be much more kind of game realistic form shooting rather than just kind of your static stuff. All right, so the next drill we have is baseline shooting. Now, this is one of my favorite drills to warm up with that I even still do today if I'm getting ready to play. And basically what I love about this drill is you're getting quick reps off of the move, you're working on footwork going both sides of the floor, and you can kind of adjust the range depending on your level of player. So if you've got young players, they might be getting shots right here, just barely outside the key. If you're an older player and you can work on it, you might be getting 15 footers or threes. So basically the idea is that we're getting a shot on one side of the floor, then we're switching, getting a shot on the opposite side of the floor. So it all starts, you're gonna start underneath the basket and you're just gonna spin the ball out to yourself and you're gonna catch off of a hop and quick fire into it. Now, if you wanna work on one, two footwork, you can do that too. You can spin it to yourself, one, two, but the key is we're working on getting our feet around, getting our body adjusted on the catch. What we're not looking for here is we don't wanna spin the ball and catch with our body facing away from the hoop and then turn and then shoot. We wanna work on turning, getting ready to fire as soon as our fingertips touch the basketball, right? So you're spinning it out, boom, right here, a little two-handed shot. Then you're gonna get your rebound, then you're gonna spin it out to the opposite side of the floor, catch, again, ready to fire on it, get it up, little two-handed form shot right there. Again, you can adjust the range depending on how, you know, high of a, of a level your players are at, right? Younger players might be really tight form shooting, Older players, you can scoot it out, right? Obviously, the further you scoot it out and the harder you go, the more you're gonna run, the better workout you're gonna get on this drill. All right, so the next drill that we got that I love to promote this kind of high release angle is what we call wall shooting. Now, so you wanna find a tall wall somewhere. It could be outside, it could be in a gym. It can even be at your house if that's all you've got, right? But the idea is a lot of, a lot of young players on their release have a really low release or a flat release, right? And this is a tough habit to get into because they're trying to get more power, but it limits mathematically the target, you know, area that the ball sees when it's reaching the basket. So wall shooting is a great way to really focus on getting that high release because we can kind of force ourselves into it. So the idea is we're going to get close to a high wall just like this and we want to get so close to where a flat release is going to start to be kind of right here on the wall whereas a high release you're going to have that space, right? We're trying to get our elbow above our eye on our release. So all you're going to do is you're going to spin the ball to yourself, hop next to the wall, bring it up and let it come right back down. Again, spin, quick spring, high up the wall. Each time I want to have that high follow through, right? If I come with a low follow through, it's going to hit the wall right in front of me and come back at your face. A great way to tell if you're doing this drill correctly is if you're getting a quick spring and if the ball goes high up and you have to wait for it to come back down. In a perfect world, if I can get it up, it should come right back to my hand, almost like I'm trying to reload it, right? If it's right here and it's back in your face, you've got too low of a release. So think about it. You're spinning, quick feet, high up the wall, high release, right back down where it started. If you do that, this is a great way to get reps in a warm-up. This is a great way to get reps if you're, you know, don't have a hoop to work on. But it's a great way for younger players to build that 
muscle memory to have that high release so it translates into a game. All right, so the next drill we've got is what we call hot lava shooting. Now this is a great drill to work on quick feet and getting a quick load off of the catch. So you can either do this yourself if you're a younger athlete by spinning the ball to yourself, or you can have a coach pass it to you as well. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna start on an elbow, but we can move this drill in if we want to. We basically just wanna have some sort of line for us to go on, right? We could go really close if we, to the hoop if we wanted. I could go on this line if I wanted, but for me, I'm gonna go on the free throw line. It kinda depends on your range and your pop and your power and how old you are, right? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna start at one end, you're gonna chop your feet really quickly and move down the line one direction. The idea is we're pretending like the ground's hot lava, so we gotta keep our feet really, really quick. Now the key here is the ground stays hot lava when you're launching into your shot. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go along, once you get halfway across your line, you're gonna spin the ball to yourself, and then you're gonna catch and fire as quick as you can, right? Quick feet, quick low to the hips. Because remember, we're pretending like the ground's hot lava, so as I come through and I spin, I don't wanna pause, wait, readjust, shift, I wanna work on getting that quick pop, quick spring, right? So as I'm coming through, chopping my feet, boom, spinning, now I'm quick load, quick fire as soon as my fingertips touch the basketball. If you do that, it's gonna help you translate that mechanics into actual gameplay when you got defenders flying at you, people flying around, moving pretty quickly, right? So then, once you get a shot up, you can go to the opposite side of the floor, same thing, boom, 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 moving the opposite direction, quick load, quick spring, quick fire. If you can do that, you're gonna get that kind of that game time muscle memory pretty fast. All right, if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button and then in the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you wanna see next. I make pretty much everything off a request, so leave it down below and hopefully I'll get to it. And if you're new to shot mechanics, you're gonna wanna do two things. Number one, hit that subscription button. Two put out videos every weekend, they're all gonna get you better, I guarantee it. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is click that button down there or the link in the description to get a free copy of my seven day shooting challenge. This is a shooting challenge that's gonna change the way you think about training your jumper and it will probably increase your shooting percentage in the very first day. That's how powerful it is. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.